Nigerian returnees from Libya have narrated their harrowing ordeal in the North African country, as they attempted to get to Europe. In a report by Punch, quoting Southern City News, some of the returnees who were received by the Edo State Task Force Against Human Trafficking, expressed regret that even after parting with huge sums of money, they still did not reach their preferred destination of Italy. We gathers that one of the returnees, Nana Sandra, said she decided to leave Nigeria in January 2018, when she could no longer manage her salesperson job in Benin City. Sandra, who hails from the Ikpubooka local government area of Edo State, said she managed to raise N700,000 for the journey, even though she earned little as a salesgirl in a boutique. She stated, I was going to Europe to earn a living. I was working as a salesgirl in a boutique before I left. I paid N500,000 to get to Libya and N200,000 to cross to Italy. The journey was hard, it was not easy. I will never forget my experience in the desert. Although I did not see people dying in the desert, some of my friends told me they did. I was treated well where I was kept in Libya. I was trying to cross to Italy when I was caught and taken to a deportation camp. I spend a week and one day. I feel very sad because my plan was to go to Europe to earn a living. I am not happy coming back. However, when asked if she would return to Libya, she said, honestly, Libya is not a place to be. I will not advise my enemy to go to Libya. If the government wants me to learn a skill, I will. I would like to learn hair styling. Edith Richard, a 21-year-old returnee, alleged that many Nigerians in Libyan detention camps were poorly fed and treated like animals. She stated, I left Nigeria because I wanted to look for something to do. I struggled to raise N500,000 to get to Libya. But I could not cross to Italy because as soon as we were on the Mediterranean Sea, we were caught by some Libyans on the sea. I was taken to a detention camp and was maltreated. They, Libyans, talked to us anyhow. We did not like the way they fed us, giving us food without meat. They treated us like animals. I'm happy to be back home. I do not regret that I did not get to Europe because some of us lost their lives. About five died at sea and in the desert. One of them, Blessing, died due to the heat from the sun. She could not bear it. I have parents but I did not inform them that I was living the country, Nigeria. But I called them when I got to Libya. I do not know whether they will accept me. I am afraid that they might shout at me, I want them to forgive me. I am ready to learn a skill and I want the state government to help me. I thank the government for bringing me back. Meanwhile. We previously reported that a 20-year-old Nigerian returnee from Libya, Vivian Munero, recalled how she was raped in a place called Gitron in the North African country. She said in part, this happened when we were going to Saab. Our vehicle parked there and they said we were going to sleep there. These Libyan men will come to the section where they keep women, they will wake us up one after the other and rape us. They will put gun to your head and you must follow them. But I thank God I did not contract any disease after all. <laughs>